Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What's That Herb. Today we are going to talk about curled cress. Uh, sometimes they call this curly cress or just garden cress. So this is a beautiful plant that um, most of the times people grow them as microgreens. And I have a video on how to grow this in, as microgreens, so check it out. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. And to grow these as microgreens, it takes around seven to 10 days to harvest. They're really nice plants, easy to grow, and uh, they taste a little bit uh, spicy, sort of like peppery. So uh, a lot of times people um, would, would uh, compare these to um, other uh, crests like watercress, but I think this has a more of a herb taste so uh, they're very nice and easy to grow and I think they're very underrated. Uh, these can withstand temperature down to zero degrees Fahrenheit because in Texas we had this crazy storm recently and these were the only ones that survived. So they made it through covered completely in like six or seven inches of snow and the temperature were down to zero degrees Fahrenheit and they, they just made it no problem at all. So here is uh, what they look like. They're, um, they're very green. They look beautiful, just very, very green. And uh, the, the tender shoots here, you, you eat the leaves and uh, the tender parts of the plant. And so you can just pluck the top here. They're very nice and soft and a little bit crunchy as well. So these can be used in a salad. Uh, you put them in your sandwiches. Uh, you can kind of like cook with them, but I, I like these uh, fresh. Um, I think they're the best when they're fresh. So um, you, I think these are the reason why they call the curled crest because the leaves are kind of curly and uh, they grow very fast. So in, in seven to 10 days, you get like really nice sprouts to use. And if you want to grow them uh, larger, you can just throw the seeds in your garden in the, in the, the cool months, like you can do it in March, uh, April, uh, depending on where you are. Uh, if you live further south, you can actually throw these out in um, uh, like November or December and just, just let them go. Like I live in zone 8A and I just, threw the seeds out here, I think it was uh, in November, and uh, they just sprout and grow through uh, the winter time and uh, overwinter themselves. They, they, and here they are, we're in March now, and uh, they just look amazing. So you can grow them in raised beds, uh, or you can grow them in containers. So let me show you. So here are some crests that I grew in a container. So I just threw seeds in there, you see? and they grow, they're very nice and green. Here are more of them. And if you grow them with these ruby mustard, you see these purple and green, they, they look very similar. So the ruby mustard have a kind of like a curled, um, serrated leaves like this, and you grow them next to the curled crest or garden crest, they look beautiful. You see that purple mixed in with the green? I think they're just gorgeous. And here's some right here. And also Mizuna, so grow some Mizuna next to them and you have a really nice, beautiful um, display in your garden bed. So uh, try them out, uh, you're not going to be disappointed if you, if you love cress, watercress, upland cress, uh, uh, or similar cress that are, has a, the peppery flavor. These are one of the plants that you should grow because they're so easy and I think they also help um, fix the soil too. So sometimes uh, after I grow uh, these and they're just so much of them, I'll just chop them off and I throw them in the soil and uh, as compost and the worms just eat them and uh, I, can, I think they help, um, you know, create fertilizer for the soil. So, uh, yep, that is it. Uh, curly crest, curled crest, garden crest, check them out. The seeds are really inexpensive because they're sold as microgreens and you get a ton of them. So uh, I hope you try them out and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.